Okay. All right, so up here you have your hitch connect and controls with all of that. So right here is just a light switch, which controls this right here, as well as this is labeled up and down, so to get your hitch and everything connected. And then under here, you have your LP tanks. So only thing with your LP tanks, right here you have this white little knob. On the edge of this knob you have an arrow, so that just points um, to whichever LP tank you're using supply out of. And then this is green, which means green go so it's open and just to open and close it's labeled right here just to turn it um, and then once this one is done being used you'll just turn the white down to this side so that you can start using supply out of that one is there any indicator or it just runs out it just runs out okay yeah this color will change Never if we want them oh, shut the off color, the color will change um as far as if i turn it right now and this one's closed it'll tell you that it's red as far as when it goes to running out um i'm not sure if it like fades away or because I know whenever I come out here and they're closed, I open them and it goes from red to green. Okay. So once you turn it, it will. Okay. So if you want to turn off both tanks, do you just turn it straight You'll up? Just close it, which is... Okay, so that's the only way to keep them closed? Yeah. Okay. You'll just have to close the knob on the top. Oh, and okay. And then this just goes right back on top. And then you can't access it also just by popping these open and lifting the lid up. Is there any strap or anything that keeps it... No, it is perfectly it is perfectly it's, safe to sit. So, um, okay. because it's the way it is, you'd have to pull it literally all the oh, way right. above the LP tanks to take it off. Okay. So it's good for travel and everything like that. And then behind that, you have your batteries. Now, is there a battery disconnect in here? Um, as far as the battery disconnect, they're usually inside. I did, I haven't seen them on this one, but I'll definitely ask your tech about that as far as if they're, they, a lot of times they're hidden, like under the mattresses or something like that. So I'll have to find that. Yeah, because in the video, it showed them under the gas tank on the new ones, but I'm not sure. Oh, oh it's right there. Okay. <laughs> He's done his homework. I'm glad, because I, did, I didn't. I, <laughs> they're always different. All right, so we'll come around here. So um, this switch right here also just has a little on the outside, perfect. Yes. All right, so right here is just one of your little compartments and stuff like that. You do already have some things inside of here. So inside of here, you have your LP hose as well as just some extra things. I know your toilet paper holder and stuff is in there as well. Um, you do have your outside table for the connect for the grill and stuff like that over there, which is on the other side. And then you do have both of your cranks right here. Both of them out. So for this one, it does. Um, if this does happen to stop working or you do run out of battery, this little lip right here just comes off, this sticks in there, and that way, if your battery does die, your um, crank for your hitch can still work. And then this one is, uh, if you have to use manual for your stabilizers down here. Okay. Where's the attachment on the, on the legs? Could it be on the back side there? You want to just have one of the mechanics come out after? Yeah, I'll just grab your tech afterwards just so they can see. Usually it's just sitting right there and I'm confused why it's not. Okay. It's probably a lot simpler than what I'm making it though. Alright, so we'll just skip over there and we'll come back to that. So right here you have your portable water. So this is just your fresh tank. Um, just when filling this up, water hose um, goes in there. It's good to stay in there. Once the water's filled, it'll start coming out, basically just telling you it's filled. Once that happens, you just put the cap back on. So that we only use when we don't have city water? Yeah, so if okay. you're planning on not being connected to city water or something like that, you just fill that up. Okay. Ready? And then um, as far as that goes, your fresh water drain is right here. Okay. Underneath. Alrighty, and then you have a little compartment cubby right here as well as one right here. So 
that one just swings open and then this one has the magnet clip on top. Okay, do. And then it has the key lock as well as the manual lock right here. So you can lock with both. Alrighty. Alrighty. And then down here you have your sewer outlet connection as well as your gray water holding tank. So your hose gets connected there. You have a valve here as well as a valve on the other side. And just to open those is just to pull it open. Um, before pulling it open, you want to make sure your hose is connected to both ends. Pretty good. Um, so your black is your toilet and then your gray is your sinks and your showers. Um, whenever doing your toilet, you want to kind of open it and then close it and let the water pressure from your tank flush kind of fill it up. Open it again, close it, let the water pressure fill, fill up. That way it's pushing all of the, um, the solid is the flush. So your flush is right here at the top of okay. the tank flush. And then this is your city water connection. So if you are planning on using city water, that one just goes right in there. And then if you, whenever you're using your tank flush, that one's right there. So we can use the tank flush to clean them out when we're done too, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, you just want to make sure that a lot of people either have different color water hoses or label their water hoses. You just want to go ahead and have one for each of these. That way you're not mixing them up. And then right here you have um, your power plug-in. So this is a 30 amp. This is also your power cord. So before you leave, we'll go ahead and get this wrapped up and put back in your RV. But as you can see right there, I have plugged in a 30 to 50 adapter. So those are really good. Um, a lot of parks we offer. Because yeah, a lot of parks exact offer same very limited. Because we have a 50 on our house. Yeah. So we'll do the 50 to 30 and we'll be good. Good, good, good. And then again, if you are at a park, your cable and satellite plug-ups are just right here. Coming back here, you have your stairway to get on top of your roof, as well as this little compartment back here. A lot of people put their waste dump hose in there, that way they don't have to keep it inside of anything when traveling. And then you have your fresh water tank right here. So just to open that, it's just to pull this and twist it, pull it out, and then put it back on. Just twist it back on. Um, as far as these go, the only thing I really recommend, I'm not sure if you had it on another unit, but the little clip-on bug screens are really, really good just to keep wasps and stuff out as well as mud daubers because they do get pretty bad inside of there. Can I take the one off uh, my trailer now? Sure you could, yeah. Okay. If you have the little tools and everything, go ahead and throw it on there. Yeah, I don't know if I have the little tool with me, though. We might have an open one. I can see if we have a little one. Okay, there. thank you. Alrighty, and then this is right here is the back of your fridge, so if you have to access that, these little things just unscrew. Alright. All right, and then your outside shower, which is a key lock only, which your keys are inside, so we can lock that up before you leave. But you have hot and cold, and this just sits back inside of here as well. It has the um, little holder thing on the outside. Okay. Right. And are they labeled, not to, labeled hot and cold? Yeah. So C and H. Oh, okay. So is this on the recirculating system too? Like as far as the water it's using? Like yeah, like inside it recirculates the water like so you're not it, like using it more water. recirculates it until it's hot. You know, the water saver thing in the shower. Oh. That, it, that it keeps, it keeps, it doesn't make you waste water until it's hot. I'm not sure if it's, if it's on that if system. It's a part of it. I mean, I'm sure it is because it has hot and cold. Yeah. But I'll definitely ask because I don't want to tell you yes and it not be. Okay. Alrighty. But it does, the water does tend that once you have your water heater on, it tends to heat up pretty fast, like okay. the, once you turn the hot water on. Alrighty, coming around here. So like I was telling you about the table um, and grill clip-on, those just clip on this little bar right here. And then you have your extend and retract for your stabilizers, which I already have those down. So just to bring it up, to hold this, and then put it down. And then once you kind of feel it hit the floor and push up a little bit, you want to go ahead and let it go because those are just stabilizers. They're not jacks to push you up. They will break if you if you put them up too much. All right, and then you have your LP disconnect right here. And I think that's, yeah, so your LP disconnect is right there. So whenever you're using that, your plug-in for that is right there, which your hose is in the front. And then you have your furnace vents right here. So just like your hot water heater, the bug screens on those are a good thing to have too. And then if you do choose to do an outside TV, you have your mount here as well as both your plug-ins right here. Is the there a bracket that you have or that we can get that we can put on a TV yeah, that we have? Yeah, you can do, I'm, I'm pretty sure we should have the size for these. I'll have someone come out and measure it to make sure it's the right size. But okay. we should have, a, um, it, hopefully, we definitely have some inside as far as the right size. If not, we can definitely get one to work. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so coming up here, you 
have your two other front compartments, but inside of here we have the starter kit, which just has some little accessories for your RV. So I'll just keep that inside of there for you guys. And then the other little cubby right here. And again, these are the magnets on top, as well as the manual lock and the key lock. Um, and then right here you have your solar plug-in. So this is kind of just a quick battery charge, because um, your battery does charge when it's plugged in, but if you're boondocking or anything like that and you still need to charge your battery, this is just a solar plug-in, so it'll plug in. The solar panel can either mount on the floor or some mount on the roof, and it just charges the battery. Um, you have your LED lights above you, as well as your outside light, and then your two speakers, and then that is your microwave vent. So we'll probably all have to use a step ladder for this. But as you can see, it has two little things. I just call them lips. I just put my thumbs on them and push it out. And it's just kind of like a little flap. That way, whenever you're using that, that's its way to vent air out and everything like that. We do those two little things. What do you yeah. push up? You push up on your thumbs and kind of pull them out. So they just kind of pop out. And then, and then to push it in, you do the same. Same thing. Just push it in. And you'll hear it click in. Okay. And that way it's close. Okay. So as far as anything outside, do you have any questions? So as far as your radio, you just have your remote or you can control things off here. So power button to turn on and off and then you have speaker zone 1 and 2 as well as on here it's speaker zone 1 and 2. So blue means the speaker zone is on, red means it's off. So speaker zone 1 is what we're listening to right now, which is inside. Speaker zone 2 is outside, which I can turn on, and you can hear it outside. So you can have music playing either inside and outside or you can have neither of them on and then volume control here as well as right here and then channel changing right here as well as right here and then power button just to turn it off and then once the lights are off it shuts off all right and then right here you have your light control so you have your interior lights right now which is what we're running on and then you have your porch light, which was the little yellow light we saw, your awning lights, which are your LED strip lights. And then this is free wired for Wi-Fi, so if you do plan to have this hooked up to the Wi-Fi, that control for that is just right there to turn it on. And then you have your slide out in and out, which is the slide out behind you, as well as your awning extend and retract. Um, and then you have your water pump turn on switch here, so when the light's on means it's on, no light means it's off. So right now our water pump's on, and then you have water heater gas and water heat electric, which is, they're, they're both labeled. So gas, you're running off your LP electric, you're running off whatever you're plugged into, and then you have your tank heater. So you said plug into Wi-Fi, what is, what does that, or how does it work? It's right there. Yeah, so it is pre-wired for Wi-Fi. As far as how that works, there's usually a website you can just go to. A lot of times they have it in the website. Okay. I'll dig through this once we get done with the walkthrough and see if I can find it. Usually there's a website or something like that. I'm okay. pretty sure you have to you have to pay something, but it, it just kind of like is a Wi-Fi inside of your thing, just like you would have in your house. Okay. All right, and then right here on top of your countertop, you have this. It pulls up, and you have outlets, which is nice as well, as you have an outlet plug in right here, too. Which, is that a switch where that little part of red... So the, this that, little thing? That, yeah. Yeah, so this just yeah. pushes it down. Oh, I thought that had to come up more. Okay. So that's your little click thing. So you have two outlets as well as two USB plugs. Okay. So depending on what you're using. That just puts in, slides down, and then you'll push it in. And then you have your breaker box down here. So just to open that, it's just to click. And if there is a fault in any of these, you will have like a little red light shining. The good thing about that is you have this little window, so if there is a red light shining, you can see it through the window. That way, you don't have to constantly check in there. So, is there anything. was there little cable connections down there? In here? Yeah. On the the bottom there, on the right, it looks like there's two buttons. Yeah, those things. It's just a little metal piece that's screwed in. 
not sure if that's just to hold it or what it is. It's like here you have your grill for your outside. So there is the table in the front compartment and then the grill is in this box right here. So there's a table and the grill. Yes. Yeah, so they both fit on? The um, they're usually about this big, so they should both fit on like almost perfectly on the on the little bar. So you have a grill and a place to put the table too. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, all right, and then I did turn the hot water heater on this morning. What is, what is this? Oh, oh, it's just water. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm like, is that a, what is that? It looks like glue or something. It's probably just from me testing the water earlier and then it dripping. Yeah, so it's getting hot. Yeah, I don't want to get too hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I need the water side. Yeah, so it's probably just enough for me. But yeah, so those are just removable. Those are also travel safety, so if you have them on while you're driving, they just sit inside of there. They, they, yeah, yeah. good. Alrighty, and then your TV remote for that's right here. Just power on. And then as far as your TV goes, you do have your antenna turner right here. So if you are somewhere that this, um, you're using your antenna and the it's not good service, you can just pick it up, Push up and, and rotate yeah. it. Yeah, we had that. Yeah. Um, so as far as the TV, you know how everything goes, so I'll just turn that off. We don't have that kind of service here, so it's usually pretty, pretty snazzy. All right, so back here, you do have little cubbies, little storage drawers, and everything like that. Um, and then as far as your stove top and oven go, those are just the turn. You'll take your arrow, turn it to light, hold your button down, and it will light. Same with this one. And they're also like, will you show me again? I yeah. couldn't see. That's okay, sorry. That's all right. Here, so you'll hold, push it down. Yeah. You'll turn it to like you'll keep it pushed down. You'll press your ignite button, and then your are Okay, down. cool. And Thank a lot you. of times, um, it did light pretty fast. That's because I've been running it all morning. Um, as far as whenever you first turn your LP on, a lot of times you have to hold it down for about 10 seconds or so. That way, it draws the LP up into it. Okay. All right, and then this one's a little now, do, bit to do the angle. to do the outside quick connect. Do you have to do the same thing once you turn on the tank? Does it take a while? It does. Before I have it... to look at the grill. A lot of times the outside ones are the ones you have to use lighters for. But mm -hmm. for the most part, it is the same thing. You'll have to hold it down, turn and it's it, even and a little further down the chain of... Yeah. Of right. That's all, that's so all I wonder. So that, yeah, that, that was with our, one of our others also. Mm -hmm. This is usually the fastest lighting one. The oven usually is the longest lighting one just because it draws a lot more power. So when I do this, a lot of times I just sit because it's a lot easier. But if you look in this thing right here, that's like the easiest way to do it. You can see the reflection. So you'll turn this and on here it says pilot. So you'll hold it down to pilot and then you'll hold this button down. And from my perspective right now, sitting in this part of the thing, I can see a reflection of it sparking. Again, I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, yeah. I hear. Mm -hmm. So you'll keep it pushed down, keep it pushed down, keep lighting it. And then you'll see that blue flame. And you'll keep it pushed down for about 10 seconds or so. And then you'll turn it. Let's go. I think I let it go. Yeah, I did. So you have your blue flame back. Keep it pushed down for about 10 I seconds. Even, I can't so. even see a blue flame. I, I know. I just, I usually just, oh, okay, you, yeah, you can, can look yeah, through the glass see. and see it. Yeah. It just depends right. what angle you're at. Keep it down for about 10 seconds. And then your whole bar will light up, which is okay. that's a lot easier to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so now your bar's lit up. Oh, I can see it in this. In this. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look in there. I'm see, like, I look right here because okay. that's where I'm at. If you're farther back, it's really easy to see in the yeah, glass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's probably seeing it perfectly in the glass. Okay. I can see it through yeah. the bottom. Okay. And then you have your temperature setting right here. And then as far as just turning it off, it's just turning it all the way back. And then again, that took a while, even after running it a couple times this morning. So if you first turn your LP on, it's gonna it's take a while. It's not that it's not working. It just yeah. give it. Yeah. Time. You just gotta give it a couple of minutes. And it's nice because a lot of them, the igniters are like this. So you constantly have to keep turning it for a couple of minutes, which is awful. This is just a button, which is nice. You just hold it down. And then right here you have your cover, which just goes right there. And then again, just folds back and put up. And then as far as your windows behind here are just turnables, push out. You'll twist it until you feel it can't go no more. It's fully open. And then twist back. As tight as it goes, it's locked. How do the blinds work so I can make sure that they're doing their thing? Mm -hmm. 
Cool. All right. And they should be up when you're using that. I'm yes. Assuming, yeah. Yeah. It probably. Be can you can you let it down again yeah. for me, please? No, I, I just wanted to look because it looked like they weren't sitting right. That's fine. I have them too low up under this. A lot of times it's better to just sit them right on top of these. That way they don't get caught in there. Okay. And then your little clear plastic piece right there is you're just going to turn it to open. Okay, this. thank you. And then pull this way to close it. And then this way. Lock. Now, do we have to do anything with the sound bar or the sound bar is just... As far as the sound bar, it should just... If, if there is no buttons, usually it just good. turns on with the TV. Okay? Good, good, good. And no then, buttons. Yeah, no. And then your air control, so is right here. Um, so you have cool fan, off and heat, and then you have auto low and high as well as on low and high. And then you have your temperature right here, which it's in Fahrenheit. So, so now, how do you change the temperature? So you'll just pull this. Oh, you slide it. Yep. It's not a digital. Nope. Okay. Okay. And then as far as your vent, which is above you, it's a quick cooling vent. So with these right here, these right now, I'm going to close them. So obviously there's no air on right now, so it's not showing you, but when those vents are closed, all your air starts to push out of here. Once these are open, all your air is dropping right in here, which so is why they call it a quick It'll go through all of them. Mm -hmm. So whenever, if you guys are parking this at your house or if you're taking it somewhere to park it, no matter what, whenever you park it and you're bringing everything in, most likely you're going to want to have those main vents open. That way all your air is coming directly in here as you're going in and out. Once it comes nighttime, if they're sleeping, um, if you're sleeping here and someone's sleeping over there, it's best that you have that closed. That way you have the air you coming out of the vents. And you can twirl them yeah. and direct it. Yep. Um, they said, how do I know how, how big this is? They said it was supposed to be 15,000, something say 13.5, so I didn't know how I know. Um, as far as measuring that, that he doesn't said, be a technician. I could just grab he that. Said, he said it was, it's supposed to be a 15,000 BTU. Okay. In yeah. this one, and I just want to make sure it's what he said it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'll grab your tech and ask them because they'll definitely know yeah. the answer to that one right away. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so like I was saying, so you close these and you can start to feel your air come out oh, of these. Yeah. 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 And then the second I open this, they start to drop yeah. right here. What if you good. leave one? So as far as doing that, your air is going to lessen here and kind of medium each of them out. So you'll have some air pushing out of here and then some air pushing out of just this vent. Okay. Alrighty, and then behind me is your fridge. And this one over here. So as far as the controls to this, obviously that's pretty cold. Um, so you have an on and off button here and then auto and gas and then your check light, which they're all labeled, which is nice. So as far as auto, you have your orange auto light on right now, which means auto is on. Um, when running auto, it's running off to put up your main power sources. So right now, since we are plugged into electric, that is our main power source. The second I go out there and unplug it from electric, it's going to automatically switch using your LP because it's on auto. Okay, that's what I wanted to yep. know. Yep, yep, yep. To switch it. So do you leave the LP on when you're driving? You Keep can that cold? If, you're running, if you're running your, whatever you're running off of gas. If you are planning on using your LP for this, then yeah, you'll have to leave it on. If you're not planning on using this and you don't want to run your LP for that, you can just go ahead and turn this off and then take and close the tip, close the LP. Okay. You turn this back on. Your check light usually comes on. It's on. And if you don't want to use electric, then you just press this. Auto lights off. You're only running on LP right now. Okay. So auto means electric. Yeah. Auto means electric. Okay. And then again, like I said, if you don't want to run your LP before you go out there and unplug it, you'll just want to go ahead and turn it off. That way, you're not using your LP. But for right now. Right, and then just make sure that clicks whenever you push it back in. Yep. So click, and then to open, you turn the door handle out and pull it open. Okay. Alrighty, and then next to that, you do have storage here, which is shelf and everything as well as down there. And then right here, you have your LP reader. So your LP reader kind of works like a fire alarm, which the fire alarm is above you over there. Um, yeah, so it alerts you kind of like a fire alarm. So with that, obviously, if you have smoke or anything like that, that'll start to alert you this. Is it for you if you have like an LP leak or anything like that? So if your LP tanks do tend to leak, or, or not tend to leak, but if they do leak, it'll alert this because the fumes or whatever. If that does start to go off, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go out there, shut your LP off completely, and then open as many windows and doors as you can. That way it can vent out. If it continues to, you'll want to go ahead and call someone, call us, send it somewhere. That way it can get looked at. 
Um, there is very low possibility, but if someone next to you or something, if you have doors open, they have an LP leak, a lot of times it can alert you and get in here too. Alrighty, and then in here is your bathroom. So um, as far as in here, you have your light switch, which during the daytime isn't very necessary because you do have your sunroof in there, which keeps it pretty bright. And then right here you have your GCI. So as far as your DCI, if any of your outlets in your RV do have a fault or they're not working, your reset button for that is just right there. So you'll just press reset. So if the outlet over there is not working, you'll want to come in here, press reset, and that should fix the problem. And that's the only one that's got that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the only GCI. A lot of times, the main, most of the time, they're only in the bathroom, which is the main place that they keep them. And then you do have your travel safety lock on your shower as well. And then you have, and then you have your little shower pocket up there. So that was what I was wondering about, was that water miser? If that was connected to the outside too? Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to figure, yeah, I'll figure that yep. out, because I have no idea if that's the same thing, if it's hooked up to the same thing, or if it's different because it is an outside shop. Okay. So it looks like this is tighter than it is up there. It doesn't look like it's going together very good up there. It looks tight. Oh, there we go. Okay. I just had to push it together a little more. Okay. Yeah. So you, we just got to make sure it's like... Yeah, so just take your handles and push them together. Okay. All right, and then as far as your vent, you'll push, um, just pull to unlock, and then push to lock. So if you want it locked, and then pull to open, and then open. It has your arrows pointing this way. Keep twisting. Oh, yeah, you can Opens see it. it. Yep. Yeah. So you have your max AC vent on top of that which is nice. And then close. So where's the switch to turn it on and off? Right here. So fan okay. on. The batteries that I showed you in front behind the LP tank, those are F, so it means they're full. Okay. So your battery percentage is full. Fresh, which is your fresh tank, which is the water tank I filled up, is full. Okay. So I did fill that up so that we could run as much water as you guys wanted to to make sure everything was working good. And then you have your black tank, which is empty, and your gray tank, which is empty. Okay. So they dumped all your tanks out, I filled your fresh tank, and then your battery is fully charged. Okay. So if you guys are worried about oh, is my fresh tank full, or if my black tank is full, do I need to dump that soon? You yep. can just go ahead, all you have to do is press the little buttons, whatever, it lights up. So you have empty, one third, two third, and four. Yeah. Yep. So okay. can we empty that tank before we go so Your it's not water? sloshing? Yeah, I can just go ahead and open the fresh water Excellent. tank and then Thank dump you. that out. Of course, I just wanted to fill it up just enough so that we can have however yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. you guys wanted to test. And then, of course, behind you, you have your pull-down bed and everything like that. So, um, as far as the outside storage that I showed you, easy access to that is just picking this up, and then you can see there is sunlight in there right now because your outside compartments are still open. Okay, so that that storage is in yeah. that place. Okay. Yeah, so that way, either side you're on, if you want to push something all the way back and you don't want to have to climb inside of it to access that, you can just lift that couch over there and grab it out of there. Okay. So as far as using it as a couch, you do have yep. Yep. those. Can we pull it down and then just make sure that we can 
lock it and unlock it. That's a big pain. Well, I see the two front straps under there, Where? but how do they connect to the back? Lift the mattress up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where's, where's the other straps? Can I crawl on your bed? Or do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Yeah, I can. Yeah, can you just pull them up and see so that it'll kind of want to crawl on everything? The, 